Hey there, welcome to Tim Talks Cooking. I'm Tim and today I'm making Keto Szechuan Green Beans. This is one of my favorite recipes from Chinese restaurants and I'm going to show you how to make a really simple and delicious version of it at home in no time at all. You're going to love this recipe. I'm also going to show you the macros at the end of the video, so stick with me all the way to the end. Let's get started. First, let's make a sauce. In this cup here, I've got two tablespoons of Shaojing wine. I actually buy this online on Amazon. You could also use rice wine vinegar if you don't have this. You need something sour in this case, so apple cider vinegar might also work. It would change the flavor a bit. I'm also going to add in a tablespoon of soy sauce. In it goes. And a tablespoon of erythritol. You use whatever sweetener you like, of course, and do this to taste. And then give it a good mix. In this skillet, I'm heating up two tablespoons of refined coconut oil. You can use whatever oil you like, of course. I'm going to get it really hot. And here are the green beans I've prepared. You want to make sure you've washed and dried them and that you've cut the end off. I've got a pound of green beans. And once we get the oil hot enough, I'll show you how we fry them up. I'm going to test it quickly with just one. You can see it's not quite hot enough yet. Just about them here, it's starting to really go. There we go, that's, that's really what we're looking for. And we're just gonna put them in the oil and we wanna stir them around to make sure that they get coated in this oil. We're gonna fry them up until they shrivel and blacken a little bit. Now here they are after about five minutes, they're starting to brown and they're sizzling away here. If the oil starts to smoke, just turn the heat down a little bit. Continue to stir fairly frequently. This is after 10 minutes, and you can see they're nicely blackened. They're tender and soft, and so I'm going to remove them from the skillet. Turn the heat off, of course. And I'm just going to put them in a bowl and set them aside for later. Now here, we're also going to fry up our sausage. I'm using hot Italian sausage, but a more traditional meat would be ground pork. You could use whatever ground meat you like here, or tofu, chicken, pork, beef, you name it. Fry it up, we wanna get it nice and cooked, and push it off to the sides. Here I'm gonna add in one tablespoon each of chopped garlic and chopped ginger. Use fresh ginger for this, of course, and stir it in. Once you start to smell the wonderful fragrances of the garlic and ginger, add in two tablespoons of chili garlic paste. And I'll put my recipe for this up on the screen. You wanna make sure that you get one that doesn't have sugar. Stir it in. And once we get that warmed up, I'm gonna add in the sauce that we prepared and the green beans. Put them back in there and we're just going to stir them around we want to get everything coated in this beautiful sauce and that's pretty much all there is to it keep stirring until everything is well combined and that's pretty much it right there for a garnish i'm going to add in a teaspoon of roasted sesame oil always makes a nice touch drizzle it over the top and there you go Well, all that's left to do is to give it a taste, and it really looks and just smells fantastic, I think. This is such a great dish. Mmm. Oh, man, that's good. This is much better than I've ever gotten in any Chinese restaurant, I've got to say. Although, I've had really good Szechuan green beans. These are just great. I love the sausage in it. And, mmm. Especially that garnish of sesame oil. Roasted sesame oil, by the way. Mmm. So good. Listen, let's talk macros. This whole recipe, and it serves four, right? This whole recipe only has 947.3 calories, 29.8 grams of net carbs, 31.3 grams of protein, and 84 grams of fat. Per portion, per one quarter portion, comes down to 236 calories, 7.5 grams of net carbs, 7.8 grams 
of protein and 21 grams of fat. Before you go, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow and it helps you find my videos, especially if you click on that notifications bell. Thanks so much for joining us here today at Tim Talks Cooking, huh? We'll catch you next time.